Okay, here's the smoking gun. Hey guys. One of our uh, soft starters here. It's kind of a suspect soft starter, but it has uh, two days ago and today it is tripping on an overcurrent fault. And uh, that's very suspicious. So we're gonna look in the logs of the site here and see if we can get it minute by minute. It was a real overcurrent trip the last time I was here. Or at least it seemed that way. All three phases had high current. So let me get the log out and look closer and see what actually happened. And I think I'm going to meg the motor as well. Get some mega ohm readings. We may have like a, not a software bug, but an actual like motor fault uh, in the hole. So hopefully that's not the case, but we'll see what we can figure out and go from there. All right, so it faulted today at about 4.47 p.m., give or take. Um, so I've got today's date in here. I just need to copy it out of the SD card. We Our PLC locally on site stores all the data. We can read it remotely, but it's a lot faster to just pull the data remotely off the SD card. So let's get that data copied over, and then I can open up the file and look and see exactly what happened with the amperage. Here we are going down. There it was. So each of these columns is a second of read time. We've got well pump one over here and well pump two over here. Uh, I, J, and K, that's our line in voltage. And then M, N, and O, that's our amperage. So we can see where are we at? 444 and 52 seconds. The current was good. We're at about 72, 73, 75. A little unbalanced, but barely. And then right here, you can see it. It pops up. And kind of in an interesting fashion. Ooh, right at 445 and 7 seconds. You can see A goes to 101 amps, B to 91, and C to 93. Then it progresses after about three seconds. A goes up to 141, B to 118, and C to 148. So that's a bona fide overload. And then right in there is where it's faulting and ramping down. However, it keeps running. That's the down ramp, surely. Let's see, because man, it's still got amperage there. Very suspicious. I'm still not sure if this is due to a possible software bug in the soft starter that we've been monitoring very closely, or if this is a bona fide overload. But either way, let's note that our initial current spike happens at 445 and call it 10 seconds. Okay, so 445 and 10 seconds is when we have this spike uh, to around 100 amps, 140 amps on A and C, so pretty high. Then, so 445 and 10 seconds. Then it falls, and now we're down in 19, 16, and 18 amps. Voltage is okay, uh, but not great. Amperage is low, according to this, and it stays low, around 20 amps. Then it drops to 10 amps, so it stays around 20 amps, I would say, until 448. Let's just make it a nice round number, 448 and 10 seconds. Very strange. Two, it's not really 20 to 30, it falls to around 20 amps until 4. 48 and 10 seconds. That's three minutes. That's insane. What could cause that? Yeah. Three minutes, it's apparently at 20 amps. And then from there, it falls to 10 amps or so. Then it bounces back up to 20, back to 10. Then it bounces between 10 and 20. Okay, and then there's our shutdown. Bounces between 10 and 20 until 
4.52 and 30 seconds. Then bounces between 10 and 20 amps until, what was that again? Let's double check. 4.52 and 30 seconds. So 4.52 and 30 seconds. Okay, so we got good notes on what it's done. Um, I kind of want to meg it before I try and run it again. It, uh, it had been running for about 45 minutes before it tripped. Um, at this point, yeah, I just want to meg it. Uh, we'll note the meg reading and then um, we'll try and run it in hand and maybe do a 30 minute run. The way the amps behaved there um, is really, really weird. To me, it almost seemed like it overloaded and then it should have shut down. Let's see what the flow was doing. I think we logged flow with this. Let's see what the flow was doing during this whole period because I'm still really suspicious that the software inside this soft starter uh, that monitors volts and current is is all over the place and incorrect and, and but I'm also while I'm superstitious of that I'm also very nervous that there is in fact a bona fide overload fault taking place so kind of need to rule both out so let's look at the flow and see what that was doing all right so our flow is logged on the same spreadsheet our initial one was 4510. Let's find that timestamp. Uh, normal rate of flow on this pump is 100 gallons a minute. Oh, okay, yeah, very interesting. Very interesting. So you can see here, this is our amperage, these three columns. And you can see where they go from normal up to abnormal. And here's our flow in L. And you can see it is normal, 100, 100, 100. Right when the fault occurs, the flow starts to fall. 96, 70, 59, 59, 49. The flow falls. We do have a low flow fault set up on this thing. But look at that. The flow fell to zero. So here's when the overload tripped from that event. Because we got an overload fault. We didn't get a flow fault. The overload trips, the pump ramps down and stops. And then look at this. There's no flow for five minutes or more while there's current on these three phases. So either the soft starter was running the pump at a very low current, which is really strange, or um, this is that same software bug and we need to replace the printed circuit board which is what the manufacturer recommended. So let's note that down on our work order here about the flow, because that is interesting. Right now I'm getting all my data from this, um, but that flow meter is external. It's taking its data and writing into the PLC. So I trust the flow meter to give me an accurate reading. Um, but let's add that on here. So checked flow. Steady 100 GPM until initial fault at 4, 4, 5, 10 seconds. Then immediately fell to zero after a few seconds. Amperage persisted from soft starter for, what is that, 45 to 52, seven minutes for seven minutes. Highly suspect 
circuit board issues with soft starter. Okay, we're gonna meg it anyway, so let's go out there and meg the thing. Just to be sure, and then we'll put it back in auto. And if it trips again, I'm gonna take it out of service because this is this is getting too much and we gotta get one working. And I'm ready to draft an email to the manufacturer with all the serial numbers and everything to get uh, new boards out here at ASAP. All right, let's do some making. We'll pop this guy with 1,000 volts. He's a 480 motor, he can handle that. Looks good. About 140. Yeah, 140. 147. 0.54, 0 0.55, 0 0.55. All right, let's say that's a healthy meg test. So that's good. It's not the windings. I'm beginning to think it really is the uh, soft starter circuit board. Okay. Here's a smoking gun, if I've ever seen one. Uh, this is showing 42 amps. I just reset the fault, and uh, now it's showing amperage, even though the motor's not running. Let's just verify that real fast. That, to me, points to a big problem with this soft starters printed circuit board. There's no amperage leaving this thing or going into this thing. And yet, on the display, showing 28 amps. All right, uh, let's take it out of service. Man, that's a bummer. But uh, at least I think we found the problem finally. The printed circuit board inside of this is faulty and needs to be replaced. Um, as to the cause, uh, not entirely sure, but at least we have something that we know we can act on. I'll get on the phone with Mototronics in the morning and uh, get an email out right now to get them get that moving. Because yeah, that's uh, there it is. We finally caught it misbehaving, and there and you can kind of see it too. We saw that on the. Uh, fault log it was kind of bouncing between 20 and 10 amps or so and there it goes down to 10 13 and uh yeah that's exactly what we saw on the fault log when it wasn't running and so this thing is just all over the place um yeah amazing okay yeah, we need to take it out of service so we're just going to shut off power to it now and uh, this thing is is dead until further notice um, and yeah we need to get that board out here ASAP all right guys at least we got one step closer here and uh, hopefully we can get all this sorted out so I don't have to keep coming here see you on the next one